What did I get myself into? We don't have a whole lot of laser rifle rounds left. Well, hey, we got down to the crate. Anyway, alien container. What the hell? Alien organism. That looks like the freaking coronavirus, man. Welcome back, everybody, to appear on Galactic Survival on Project Eden. I'm an old guy gaming, and we are still on this alien moon. Um, well, the plan for uh, today's episode is that we are going to... Uh, we're going to check out the alien caves, uh, because um, I mentioned this, I think, in the last episode, that uh, Raven said he was going to add more to these. Uh, but that was, that was... I think that was at least back in, you know, Alpha 10... Or maybe the, you know, Alpha 11.0, I don't remember. So I just want to see if, you know, if he's added, <coughs> excuse me, anything more to those caves. So we'll explore that. And then I think what we're going to do is we're going to go off um, planet. Uh, and we're going to check out the barren planet. And a couple of those different desert types of planets. Just So this is going to be kind of more of an exploration episode. Now, um, J-Hole C, J-Hole C. I think that's the way you pronounce your name. If it's not, please correct me. Um... Mentioned in the comments that you can actually go to uh, the starter planets in Project Eden and and do the um, the abandoned reactor uh, POIs and the alien facility POIs on those starter planets and get a bunch of um, you know optronic bridges and gold and that sort of thing. Um, so you know there's I guess and I mentioned this uh, to him and when I responded to that comment is that that's a great idea except for the fact that I, I think our our time here on Alpha Alpha 11.5 is very short, and so I'm not sure if I want to go back uh, to the starter area and spend time doing that, um, and not continue, you know, exploration, because I really wanted to do a little bit of exploring before we, uh, you know, before Alpha 12 comes out. Because uh, as I've mentioned, I'm not planning at this point in time on doing Project Eden uh, for Alpha 12 at, at when it first comes out. I'm going to probably do a vanilla season. And then go back to Project Eden, you know, later on. That's the that's the general plan right now, anyway. So I don't know. I haven't really decided if I want to do that. I'm tempted to do that because you know that way we get the stuff that we need. And I would definitely do that if I, if I knew we had several more episodes uh, to go. But I just kind of have the feeling like we don't. So I I don't know. I have to think about it. Uh, we're definitely not going to do that in this episode. We're going to continue uh, exploring those other planet types. But. Um, I'll think about it. It's my, it might be something that I even do off camera, too. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but I'll let you know, you know, in the next episode what the plan for that's going to be. Okay, so now the other thing I want to tell you is that I don't remember. I don't think I did this uh, or showed this in the last episode, but I did a little bit more exploring after I left you guys, and I found the one uh, arrest room deposit that's on this planet, and I mined that up, and so uh, we now have 160 uh, raw arrest room. It was just a small deposit, so there wasn't a lot in it, but... You know, it's a little bit more. So there, there you have it. Uh, all right, so let's hop out of the ship. Let's see, we've got acid rain, which is not good. Um, temperature's fine. The radiation is 10, but our suit can withstand up to 21 rads. So we don't have to worry about the radiation. The acid rain might be a bit of a problem. Uh, do I have normal bandages? Yes, I do. Okay, so we can use those you know, to, to heal up a little bit if we need to. So, the cave is right there. Let's, uh, before we actually go out there in body, let's just look at this, because I, I don't remember how we get into this cave. Do we just have to dig through the ground here, or what? Or is there an entrance somewhere else? I, I visited one of these caves, like I said, I think it was an alpha, either 10.5 or 11, a long time ago, and I don't even remember how I got in there. Like, if there's another opening, you know, to get down in there, or what? I can't get too far away or I'm going to lose contact. That's just a crater. I suppose we could just start digging. It, it, it's a pretty large cavern, though, so I don't. what I don't want to do is, you know, fall through the ceiling uh, and fall down below and then have a hard time getting back out, you know? Um, all right, well, let's do this. Let's just grab our drill... Uh, where is my drill? It is probably in here. 
Drill the drill the drill the drill. Where the hell's my drill the drill? You're kidding me. I don't have a drill. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I couldn't see it. I go, what in the world? Okay, I couldn't see it. Okay, so let's see. We want to. We just want resource drill. Let's just punch a hole down in here and see if we can see what's going on. Oh, okay, so there's a. There's something here. Ah, okay, here's the here's the actual entrance to the cave. We were right next to it. So I guess what we're supposed to do is hop down on these conduits to get down inside of here. Yeah, this is hmm. This cave seems a little bit smaller than the last one I remember. Unless there's more to it. Whoa. All right, well, shoot. Do we risk going down there or not? <laughs> the rain's over, so here, let's do this. There's probably some nasties out here too, huh? Whoa, whoa, what's making that noise? It feel it, it sounds like something's coming after me. These alien planets, the ambient the ambient noise on these alien planets is just unnerving. And the reason it's unnerving is because some of the sound effects actually sound like there's something nearby, you know, that's coming after you or and so you don't really know if, in fact, there is something coming after you or if it's just the ambient noise. Okay. Well, um... Jeez. Okay. Let's do this. Nothing ventured. Oh, shit! Oh man, I don't know if I want to go down here. <laughs> oh, if we lose our stuff, that's not going to be good. Oh shit. Okay, here. Um, here. Let's get back up here. <laughs> this is not good. That sounds like a an assassin. Oh, there's multiple holes over here. All right, here. Let <laughs> let's do this. There's lots of holes. Let's just see how much we can reckon. Oh, oh, no, 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 not good. No, 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 wrong button. Something's shooting at me. See, where the hell did he even come from? He was just there. Oh, okay. You know what else we could do is let, let's actually park the ship right over the top so it's not so far away. We'll heal up. I think what we want to do though is let's turn in this direction. Okay. That way we're like right next to the ship. I mean, my common sense is telling me this is a really bad idea. <laughs> but my curiosity is like, we got to check this out. That's, oh man, I don't know, is that, is that coming from outside though, or is that? We never looted this guy. I want that stuff, I don't care about the other stuff so much. Um. 
Hmm. Okay. Well, here. Let's um. Let's go back down through here again. Oh, look at him. Okay. So we could uh, we could probably cheese him without having to fully go down in there with our body. Didn't uh, wasn't there another larger chamber somewhere though that I started to see and then yeah it might be down through here. These are level five assassins. Yeah, the, he's definitely changed these caves. Because before, uh, what I remember of them before, we can't loot this with this, can we? What I remember of them before was that they were, it was just kind of one large, big large cavern. And there was like one or two loot items in there, but nothing to write home to mother about, you know? But it looks like he's definitely changed them. So, all right. Well, that means we're going in because we have to. We just don't have a choice. We've got to do it. This is the way we came out because of those guys. All right. Well, um, how many rockets do we have? Oh, we got lots of rockets. Okay. We got a decent amount of sniper rounds. We've got our worthless minigun. Shotties. Okay, let's do this. I've got projectiles too. I think that guy's just right down in this room, right? Well, what happens if we drop down even further from here? Oh, not good. That's what happens if we drop down even further. <laughs> Shit. Okay, let's take one of these. No, actually, let's save those. Let's take one of these. <sighs> oh, okay. What did I get myself into? We don't have a whole lot of laser rifle rounds left. Well, hey, we got down to the crate. Anyway, alien container. What the hell? Alien organism. That looks like the frickin' coronavirus, man. What are we supposed to do with that? We're, we probably should frickin' leave it alone and get the hell out of here while we can. But, of course, that's not what we're gonna do, right? Hmm. Okay. It's too close quarters in here for me to use the rocket launcher. Here, let's do this. Let's go back down here. Well, it looks like there's fossils. That's kind of cool. Cool effect there. Okay, we have to kind of shimmy back up that way. And then there's... He, he might not be able to get... Oh, there's two of them. They might not be able to get out of that pit, and I could actually probably stand back here and send a rocket down into there. Okay, so let's um, let's go. Yeah, it looks like that's all there is to it. Okay, so let's do this. Um, loot, by the way. Let's get the stuff off of him. See, the thing is, is we could trigger another spawner along the way but so my guess is that um my guess is that at some point as he develops the story as raven develops a story we're gonna need those organisms for something maybe we farm them or something yeah if as long as they're stuck down in there I think they are. Uh, 
trying to get a headshot. There we go. Bullshit! You shouldn't have been able to hit me through there. You son of a... Yeah, I can see that uh, Elion still needs to work on the whole hitbox thing. Ah, what the hell, let's take all of it. Uh, alright, well... I think that's the hole we came down, but then we dropped down into the the further room. Okay, well, that was exciting. Now we just got to be able to get out of here. Oh, come up this way. Sounds like there's something out there. Waiting to edit us. Whew. <laughs> okay. Wow. Okay. So, here's the thing. By me bringing this onto my ship, is the whole ship going to become all infected with this alien parasite and then we're all going to die horribly or worse, turn into alien monsters? We'll see. We shall see. Does it? It doesn't tell me anything about it, right? I mean, no. It says info needed. So that suggests to me that Raven's still working on that. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. There's no better place to store an alien organism than with your food. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna, we're gonna store it with the food, because why not, right? <laughs> that way we'll know for sure, you know, next time we eat something from the fridge, if, we're, if you know, what'll happen. Oh my god, that's funny. Okay, guys, well, <laughs> let's, um, let's get the hell out of here. That was short, but uh, it, was a, it was definitely a little bit frightening. Goodness. All right, so let's do this. Um, I want to go check out the barren planet uh, in this area. And I want to also take a look at... Uh, we have a couple of different desert types of planets around here, too. I want to look at those. So that's what we're going to do next. My guess is that the other alien moons um, around this planet, this dead planet here, have, um, you know, probably pretty much just more of the same. But, you know, until I know what those organisms are actually used for, it's not really worth it to farm them up because we don't know what they're used for. I'd rather spend my time farming up stuff I know I need. There is a blue thingamadoodle down here. What is it? All right, it's a Polaris carrier. I wonder why it uh, shows as red to us, though, because we're, you know, we're in good with the Polaris. That's a little weird. Um, I suppose the one, I don't know if it's worth the time. I mean, these moons probably have a small arrest room deposit, too, but that would be take a lot of time to go to both of them and explore both of them just to find one small arrest room deposit. I don't think I'm going to do that. I don't think I'm going to do that. Okay, so let's go into our sector map or a galaxy map now. Let's call it a galaxy map. Wasn't Didn't this used to be called a sector map? I think it did. I don't know. Maybe not. It's very cool, though. Um, so let's see. what Which one of these planets was the Baron? I want to hit that one first because that one's probably got a pretty good chance of having some gold on it. Yeah, this is the barren planet. Oh, shit, though. You know what? It doesn't say that it has gold on it. It's got Neo and Sap, though. Oh, yeah. Shoot, man. 
I remember in vanilla, barren planets having gold deposits on them. Or maybe, I guess maybe not all of them did. Well, shoot. Okay, here. That's the stormy desert. It's got neodymium. This is the pummeled desert. That doesn't have any information. And this is a black desert. Is it black desert online? <laughs> All right, I'll stop. Um, a hot desert planet scorched by the proximity to its parent star. Pockets of EM radiation can be detected on the surface. Oh, is this... What's this tell us? Uh, once barren, deep meteor strikes have brought unknown sources of water to the surface and with it, life. House Rados and Polaris compete for resources, but the Epsilon faction has recently moved in, increasing tensions. Originally created by Monroe. Oh, that's kind of neat. It's got Neo. Um, Talion orbit, stormy desert, a desert planet devoid of any natural sources of water. A global dust storm engulfs the entire planet, lowering visibility. Uh, sensor interference, PI detection range reduce a uh, new Polaris mission available on this planet. Oh, cool. Okay, well, I mean, it, it wouldn't hurt for us to get, um, you know, a decent load of Neo and Sath, and we could get both of those on the barren planet. It looks like we might even be able to jump to the barren planet from, there's like a pathway right here, which is kind of neat, and we can go check out that. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to go to, we're going to go to this um, black desert first, just to kind of look at it, you know, because remember, we're, this is kind of an exploration episode. Uh, we're going to go look at it, then we're going to hop back here, and then we're going to go and just kind of, you know, piggyback uh, across these three planets because it looks like there's a pathway for us to do that. So that's the plan. All right. So let's lock target and head for this black desert planet. Did it tell us why it was a black desert? I, I mean, it did, but what did it say? Uh, a hot desert planet scorched by the proximity of its parent star park. Its pockets of EM radiation can be detected on the surface. Hmm. Electromagnetic radiation. I wonder if that shuts down our systems. You would think so. Okay, well, let's head over there and see. Polaria is what this place is called. Let's uh, turn this off so we can warp. I actually remembered this time. First time ever. First time ever. Yeah, he definitely changed those caves. <laughs> that was a that was pretty scary going in there, man. Whoa. This is cool looking. Damn, look at all those meteorites. Or I'm sorry, asteroids. Good golly. I don't think I've ever seen an asteroid belt that large in Empyrean. That looks like a, a freaking uh uh, elite dangerous sized asteroid belt. Wow, that's kind of cool. Um, what kind of resources can we find in this place? Pentaxid, iron, silicon, and cobalt. Too close to the sun for comfort, this area of Eden is inhospitable. Pirates, rogue drones, and other hostile factions often make their home here. Uh, though scattered pockets of civilization can, some, civilization can sometimes be found. Mining asteroids claimed by a faction is considered an act of war. Yeah, we found that one out the hard way, didn't we? What about this moon? What can we, what can it tell us about the moon here? Uh, yeah. This has silicon, cobalt, sathium, prometheus. So that's just got the normal moon stuff. It is rare for a celestial body as small as this to have an atmosphere. Nevertheless, some how this moon was able to hold on to one. Huh. Okay, so it does have an atmosphere, but it's not a breathable atmosphere. Hmm. Interesting. That might be interesting to just take a peek at, too, just see what it looks like. All right, well, wow. That is a lot of asteroids. My goodness. I have never seen an asteroid field that large in Imperion that I can recall.
Look at that uh, that cluster of planets. Um, I'll put my crosshair on it. That's kind of cool how, how close together they are, planets or moons or whatever. Huh. Let's get that back on. All right, well, let's see. What do we have over here? We've got a... We got a trading station. Okay. That's good. That's actually really good. It's too bad though, you know, with as many asteroids as this place has, it's too bad there weren't more varied types of resources like, you know, bury a couple of uh, high level stuff, high level ores in there and we have to hunt for it, you know. With as large as it is, though, it's not really worth it to, to start looking for just the basic stuff, in my opinion, but whatever. All right. Well, let's go down to the planet. Oh, did we check the gravity on this place? We should probably do that now. We should probably do that. So, planet info. We want to go back to Polara. Uh, Polara. It's a black desert planet. The gravity is 1.6. Okay. It's a little heavier than normal, but not anything we can't handle with our ship. A black desert planet. Okay, here we go. Oh, there we go. I started to get a little bit worried there. Wow, this is cool looking. Very al alien looking environment for sure. Uh, temperatures nor within normal range. Radiation is only 2.6. Oh, you know what? We've got we've got one full point of body radiation. We're gonna, we need to fix that. We need to fix that. Okay, so it looks like as far as the features, I mean, it, you know, different colors and lighting and stuff, but it looks like it's your typical desert planet, you know, with a bunch of plateaus and buttes and, and you know, then flat desert areas. Let's get down a little bit lower. It's very cool looking, though. Hey, there's something on the radar. Iron deposit. Okay. I want to go over here for a minute. Right, let's get off the ground. We're dragging our belly on the ground here. Okay, hold on. Level out. Get up a little bit. Okay. There's this, like, um, cone formation thing over here. I just want to go look at that. That sun looks really cool in the, in the kind of pinkish, purplish sky. Oh, that's not a cone formation, that's just the... Or is it? I can't tell. No, that's just a... The mountain sticking out there. Okay. That looks like a meteorite. Is that a meteorite? No, it's not, it's just a rock. Okay. Okay, so it looks like it does have those little pock marks that your typical vanilla desert planet would have. And usually there's resources down inside of these as well as enemies. So it looks to me like that's still the same scenario.
I like, I think this place is aptly named though, Black Desert. That's exactly what it looks like. Yeah, so we've got, uh, we got a uh, te teller pod. I wonder what a teller pod's doing there, down there. There's no water. Interesting. Um, and then we've got the, you know, the usual Promethean crystals and, and uh, other stuff. Very cool. All right, well, um, I think maybe what we'll do, this is the place, no, this isn't the place they have the Sathium and the Neo, right? Okay, here, let's look at it again. 52 Pentaxa deposits? Oh my god. That is a lot of Pentaxa deposits. Uh, it does have 12 Neo deposits. Look how large this place is, though. It's just ginormous. It would take forever. Well, not forever, <laughs> but a very long time to explore this whole place. Man, it's just massive. Well, we'll we're going to be able to... I, I'm sure we're going to be able to find Neodymium in a much easier place than this. Um... It's got, it's got a hard difficulty. Okay, here's a POI of some sort over here. Let's go investigate that. I thought I turned that on. Did I not turn that shield on? I thought I did. Here, while we're waiting for that, let's go... Let's go eat, and we'll see if... Uh, We'll see if these organisms have infected our food and if we're going to, you know, turn into a um, alien monster after eating it. And let's top that off with a snossage. Okay. All right. Well, we'll see. We'll see if old guy turns into a, an alien monster here pretty soon. Pop that off. Okay. Am I... I want to look at something here. Okay, you're making promo. How much, um... Pentaxid do we have? Oh, we got a shitload of Pentaxid, okay. I want to re... I, I just want to top this tank off here. There we go. Okay, let's go check out this PLI here. Avoid outpost. And pristine. Okay, so it's got... Lasers that it's shooting at us. It looks like there's four of them. And we also have some drones. Why are our turrets not shooting at those drones? Okay, so there's only four four guns on this. But it looks like it's got coverage on all sides. Let's just back up out of range of the of their turrets. And I want to look at my guns for a second, see why they're not firing. So they're turned on. Maybe I just wasn't in a good uh uh, at a good angle for them to fire. Okay. Uh, we got plenty of ammunition. Okay, well, let's go ahead and come back in at a little bit steeper angle here and see if our guns will fire on the drones. know why they're not far firing on those drones. Come on, guns. What the hell?
I don't know. I, I can't. I can't explain why they're not working. So they're turned on. They're all set to. Oh, 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 alien faction. Gotcha. Okay. Gotcha. Sometimes I assume that Xerax and aliens are the same faction, but they're not. Okay. That explains it. Let's try this again. There they go. Let's get those uh, rocket drones out of the way first. They're actually a bigger threat than the lasers anyway. Okay, we got him out of the way. Good. Now, let's see. I think our shield can probably tank these turrets. Let's get back out of range and just let them recharge. not backing up. There we go. Okay, so let's let our shield fully recharge here. And uh, what we're going to do now is we've got that set to turret. Um, let's add bases to this. Turret mounted weapons. Let's turn generator off. So it'll only shoot at that stuff. In fact, we don't, uh, we don't even want an unmounted weapon. I think we just want it on turret. Except for we need to set that for the whole, the whole group here. Apply to group. Nope, not that either. Okay. All right, shields at 100%. Let's see if we can actually take out the lasers on one side of this building. It's really dark on this planet, too. Night time. Um, we could do this. Psst, psst. Yeah. It'll help a little bit. So we just want to approach it from one side and see if our, our turrets will target their lasers. There they go. See, this is pretty much the tactic that I'm planning on using when we get to Tier 3, but we'll just have a lot more guns than we currently have. Reload. There we go. Okay, so... Um, I don't know what you're firing at now. Okay, they're done. Oh, is there a wall-mounted gun? Or a sentry turret, rather? I think whatever it's shooting at, it's not doing anything, though. Okay, well, let's uh, let's just turn the, these off for now. Just so we're not wasting ammo. Okay. We are here. We are here. I don't know why those were off. Let's get this topped off. Avoid outpost. 
Well, it doesn't look like a very a very big place, but uh, it could have like a whole underground thingamadoodle going on. It is just an outpost, though. Um, however, we are, we're out of time, so I think what we're going to have to do, guys, is we're just going to have to pick up where we left off in the next episode. And what we'll do in that episode is we will, uh, we'll, we'll check out this void outpost. Um, and then probably we will probably leave the black desert and go, uh, investigate the, uh, other desert types of planets. And along the way of doing that, we will also, um get ourselves a nice little supply of sathium and neodymium while we're there so i think that's what we'll do so yeah we'll pick up right where we left off uh, right from this point in the next episode we'll check this place out and then go from there guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the episode if you did hit that like button subscribe to the channel leave a comment share out the video stay away from other people stay safe as we continue to ride out this coronavirus and we'll catch you all in the next episode Bye bye